programming is all about solving problems. How do you take a certain input and produce a certain output in response? Being able to figure this out is the key to being a good programmer. An important task in doing this is being able to identify the structure of the problem. You need to be able to break it down into its simplest form and solve each of these smaller problems. Imagine we're designing an algorithm for your school system that tracks and monitors student data, including attendance, punctuality and recording homework marks. Such systems are known as information management systems. Using this system, the teacher will need to log in using a username and password. The teacher will then enter a surname and be given a list of matching students from which they need to select the correct one. Once they select a student, the student's ID will be used to display the full details. Let's start by identifying the inputs. You need to identify the type and values of the data. These can correspond to nouns in a problem statement. For example, search by surname indicates a noun input. First is a username and password. They will be a value as words or words and numbers. Then there is a student surname. This will be words. Finally, there will be the student ID selected from the list. Now we can identify the processors. Are there any calculations or is there any other computation operations going on? These usually correspond to verbs in a problem statement. For example, search by surname indicates a verb process. The username and password will be used to search the database to see if there is a match. The student name will be used to search the database to see if there are any matches. And the selected student ID will be used to search the database to retrieve the student details. Finally, we can identify the outputs. This is about what information will be presented to the user after the processing is complete. Much like with inputs, you need to identify the type and values of the information being outputted. The first output will be either a confirmation or rejection of the teacher login. The second output will be a list of students with a matching surname to the input. And the final output will be the contact details of the students selected from the list. So, to solve a problem with an algorithm, we need to identify the inputs, processes and outputs of the problem. The inputs are about the data being passed into the algorithm. We must identify the type and values of the data being inputted. The processes are any calculations or any other operations being performed on the data. The outputs are the information being presented to the user. We need to identify the type and values of the output. 